punch? I this don't is the worst of a combination. Sure but we know what brunch means. Oh, good, then you have an easy time with the menu. Captain Shams invited us all to a restaurant to talk this over. You've already spoken with Captain Sham? Yes, by some strange coincidence. He called me accidentally, trying to reach a knife store to buy a surprise for some children he knows. He was shocked to hear about Josephine's death, but overjoyed at the prospect of raising you children. What's well, it wouldn't be? We're not going to brunch with that villain. We'll stay here and examine the novel. Oh, no, no, Borges. I want to sell this matter once and for all. They tell me Hurricane Herman is going to be so enormously menacing, we will most likely shut down all electric power in the city. So I'm going to settle this quickly, put you in the hands of a sailor I just met on the phone, before returning safe and sound to the city. <coughs> Children, I promise to investigate this man, Captain Sham, to the fullest extent of my ability as a banker. If he's in disguise, as you claim, the eyes of Poe will catch him immediately. <laughs> You probably know of a plant called the Venus flytrap, which grows in the tropics and in the apartments of certain lonely people. The top of the plant is shaped like an open mouth with tooth like spines around the edges. When a fly attracted to the smell of the flower lands on the Venus flytrap, the mouth of the plant begins to close, trapping the terrified fly who slowly, slowly, slowly dissolves into nothing. As Violet Klaus and Sonny arrived at their brunch with Count Olaf a few minutes late because Mr. Poe missed the turn. They felt as helpless as a fly as Count Olaf's evil scheme closed around them. Sadly, they would not learn for a long time. Uh, hello, I'm Larry, your waiter. Welcome to the Anxious Party. Everybody has a good time, whether they like it or not. I can see we have a whole family lunching together today.